hello welcome back so i did film me making the wig and in that video i also talk a little bit more about the hair i show you the hair bundled and i also show you all my process of how i construct my wigs i know that this hair is going to need a lot of moisture especially on the ends now i'll give you guys a demonstration a little bit just to let you know the health of the hair because that's also something important about your bundles when you receive your bundles even though they aren't still attached to a human body you still want to make sure that the hair is healthy a way to show that the hair is healthy is your ends now right now these ends are not moisturized like i mentioned i have not maintained my hair in probably two nights so um this is just you know this is just you know the hair you know without it really being maintained for a couple of days another thing that i love about this hair is that it's a deep wave but the curls are just like insane and it's so full and i've even had a gentleman come to me at work and he was like i love your hair it's just so curly so curly and deep wave hair you really don't expect for it to be like super duper curly you just usually have like a nice flat wave as you can see here but this is almost like a natural curly hair here so you see it has the waves at the top, but as it gets down to the bottom, it's like super duper curly. And I really, really do love that about the hair. Other thing is, is the closure. So this is just a regular closure, obviously. And one thing I liked about the closure, you should have seen in the clips, is that it comes with baby hair. Since the wig making video, I have cut down my closure a little bit. I'll just pull it up to show you guys how it looks. So, give you some wig porn here and currently I am not like I don't have anything to hold my lace down just right here looking straight at you guys it's pretty darn flat and that also is a representation of how my wig is constructed as well so I did cut some of the baby hairs off you know and I think this is just my personal preference if you want your hair to look like yours you know baby hairs are like that key giveaway that it's not <laughs> you know what i'm saying so baby hairs they're there they're great and if i can actually show you like some of the baby hairs i still even though i cut down the lace a little bit there are still baby hairs here so here is some baby hairs right here so, you know, these definitely could be swooped or whatever, but right now I just have them blended in to the hair because to me, that just gives me more of a natural look. So a little bit more about the lace. As you see, it is plucked a little bit right here. I plucked a little bit on the closure, but not so much. I'm definitely going to pluck the closure a little bit more, but right now I just feel like the beginning of the part is something that you know is okay this closure does go pretty far back like i mentioned so i can part this closure pretty far back so i can part it at least back to here and you can see how far back that is so like I mentioned earlier, you definitely need to moisturize the hair and the closure definitely needs a little bit more moisture than the rest of the hair. I'm not sure what it is, but the closure is a little bit more, as you see, it's just a little bit more textured and it needs some love and care. But overall, beautiful hair. I love it. The density is nice. You've seen in the clips that the wefts are pretty thick and if you saw how hard it was for me to cut the weft like it is insane. I mean these things are sewn honey. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet one side and I'm gonna show you all how beautiful the curl pattern is and also to show you how I maintain my hair throughout the night. I don't have anything on the hair so I'm just going to split it in half. Okay. And I'm going to wet this side because I feel like this side needs a little bit more taming, okay? So just wet the hair and you can see how like beautifully it just starts settling down and you can really see the curl pattern come in. 
And then also, don't forget to spray underneath as well. You want to make sure you get as much of the hair as you can. I like to do this with warm water, but that's kind of not possible when you're filming a video. But warm water will penetrate the hair a little bit more. And then make sure that you get the ends. And get those nice and wet. So as you see already, when you wet the hair, it definitely reduces down in thickness as you see and this lets you know that the hair is very versatile i mean the hair can be wet you can wear a wet look with this you can wear a very puffed out look with this i mean the looks are limitless so next i am going to brush the hair just to show you guys how the hair reacts to brushing and the brush that i'm actually using is the tangle teaser and it is amazing now one little tip for when you're brushing your wigs is that you want to make sure that you're holding the top of your wig i don't know i just like to do that because it kind of keeps my wig in place and it also helps me not pull at the strands of hair so i like to just hold the top and then I'm going to start brushing from the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to start brushing the hair out. And I just want to let you guys see like how beautiful that is. I'm just going to get this back somewhere. Just look at how beautiful that is like oh oh my goodness and remember when i mentioned the health of the hair look at the ends of the hair here they are just so bouncy and super duper curly you know like you cannot beat that look look at how that looks now to actually moisturizing the hair, you definitely want to make sure that you keep this hair moisturized like I mentioned before. So I'm going to spray a little bit more because this hair does dry fast. So I'm just getting some organic coconut oil here. About this much. And just rub that on the hair. This is what I do every night to the hair. Ooh, I got some stuck in there. To make sure that it stays moisturized. Ooh, honey, my girl, my weed coming up, honey. And then once again, get those ends, honey. I mean, you can tell like even I can like run my hands through the hair like so easily. Okay, so once I am done with that, all I do is I just do two big twists. So this is going to be the first twist here. I just twist the hair. And you can manipulate the pattern of your hair as well. So you can twist it, you can flat twist it, you can braid it, you can do more than one twist. It just depends on you. Okay. So that is one side. This is how I maintain it during the night. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side.
if you are natural, you'll be able to maintain this hair with a breeze. I would recommend using nice natural oils on your hair. A couple of oils that I've used on this hair, I've used flaxseed oil, which is really good for protecting your hair from outside pollutants, humidity. And then I also have used sunflower oil which is really good at moisturizing as well. I think any of those would work. I definitely like the flaxseed a little bit more simply because the flaxseed is going to protect your hair and it's going to improve the longevity of your bundles. I already have my coconut oil on there and then I am going to twist All right, so that is how I maintain my hair at night and my overall idea of the hair. And so now I know you guys are wondering like, girl, how can I get some of those bundles? Like, how can I get some, honey? All you have to do is go to Stay Fan Shop. I'll put the link up here and I'll also add it in the description bar below. All you have to do is go there, shop, and don't forget to enter Mina 10 so that you can get 10 off. Now, the prices are already low, honey. Let me go ahead and read off to you the prices. All of the bundles, of course, come as black. And recently, they've also added 613 blonde bundles. Go over just a little bit about the texture of hair that they offer. So like I mentioned, they do have deep wave. Of course, they have straight. They have loose wave. They have kinky curly. And they also have wavy. Lashes are also offered on the website as well. Friends Company is set up where you can purchase single bundles, you can purchase closures, frontals, and bundle deals. So for 12 inches, it's 55 bucks, 14 inches, 60 bucks, 16 inches, 65 bucks. And so pretty much every time you add on about two inches, you're going to increase the price of the bundle by $5. 12 inch closures are 60 bucks, 14 inch closures are 65. And once again, as you go up by two inches, you add five dollars and she has up to an 18 inch frontals 12 inch 85 14 90 once again it goes about five dollars as you add two inches where you're really going to get your bang for your buck is going to be the bundle deals i would say you can get away with two and a half bundles if you're not up for the large volume of hair so really you only need about two and a half bundles for your hair and a closure if that's you some people don't use closures but the bundle deals is really where you're gonna save some money, okay? 14, 16, 18 inch is going to be only $150. And then a 16, 18, 20 inch is going to be $165. 18, 20, 22 inch is going to be $190. 20, 22, 24 inch is 215. 22, 24, 26 is 235, and a 26, 28, 30 is 270. Also remember that you have my code to take off 10%, so you're even saving even more money, honey. I would like to thank you guys for joining me today. So the next steps for testing out this hair is for me to straighten and curl the hair. I'm really excited to see how well the hair straightens and I also want to see how well the hair curls as well. Sometimes when you have deep wave products or even products that are pre-curled from hair companies, it's really hard for you to straighten them and it's really hard for the hair to maintain a different curl pattern. So I'm going to show you guys that this hair is so high quality that it can be flexible through all spectrums. Straight, curly, super, super beachy waved and all of those good things. I'm also thinking about getting some 613 bundles as well because I want to do a very ash blonde look. You know, the summer will be here before you know it, honey, and I'm trying to do it, okay? All right, boo, so thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you guys on my next video. Smooches, talk to y'all later, bye.